So the company that we did our marketing proposal on is Replacement Lens Express. So the company is a privately owned company founded in 2010. It provides prescription lenses, frames, and sunglasses to customers, and it specializes in custom designs. Um, it's mo mostly an online-based company, and it partners with numerous name brand lenses and fra uh, frames companies, and the majority of the revenue comes from replacing these lenses. So the main competitors of Replacement Lens Express include Overnight Glasses, Lensable, Replace the Lens, um, and several more. Um, all of these business target specific key terms like replacement lens, also um, for the more lenses overnight, replacing lens of glasses. Um, and they all have high advertising status with main keywords and brand, uh, branding expertise. One of the main competitors though is Lensable. Lensable has a great marketing strategy. Um, they have great branding also. They are able to target different customers, um, placing carefully placing their advertisements on competitors' pages. So, for example, when we search up replacement lens express, Lensable's um, advertisements are like the first to pop up. Um, uh, they also target many uh, current trends, um, including a specific color scheme throughout their packaging, their website, and their ads. And um, the website is very themed and easy to navigate compared to Replacement Lens Express. Um, another part of Lensable is their um, customization of like getting the lens that you want. And this is Replacement Lens Express's uh, uh, customize your lenses um, like page. And as you can see, it's kind of hard to understand and um, hard to use unlike Lensable's. So when we're looking at Replacement Lens Express Google Analytics, um, we try to analyze that to find like target customers for the company, and we figured that 28 to 6 year olds are the um, like the target range of people, um, and people who wear glasses or sunglasses, obviously because other uh, consumers who have no interest in glasses or sunglasses would not be the right people to target. And also, um, the people came mostly from California, Illinois, or Texas, and uh, like uh, when we were looking at the Google Analytics, and that's where they're buying from. But um, Replacement Lens Express is based in Connecticut, so targeting Connecticut uh, is definitely a good option as well. So when we when we first started off, uh, we looked we're looking at email marketing as an option. Um, Replacement Lens Express doesn't currently have an email marketing option, um, but in order to bring back past customers with emails and offers, we think it would be a good idea to also include a loyalty system. Um, Replacement Lens doesn't have very much of a customer retention rate, so uh, not many of the past customers have purchased again, uh, but by creating an email subscriber list, which could be used to send out loyalty emails or um, offers could be a good idea. Um, and adding on to the loyalty program, they could customers can get deals or save products, so it is easy to buy again the same product. Um, getting reminders every six to nine tw um, to twelve months, since uh, customers don't replace their glasses often, but by getting reminder, they might be. Um, more inclined to yeah. buy again. And uh, also including free shipping would be a new incentive. And, okay, so on SEO, the, when we looked up SEO for pl Replacement Lens Express, or um, like the keywords that Replacement Lens Express uh, has on their website, uh, the main ones were um, <coughs> like lenses, frames, replacement quality. <coughs> And we were thinking that they should um, target discount luxury eyewear, uh, RX eyeglass lenses, prescription eyeglass lenses, replacement lenses, and discount designer frames. As these are kind of smaller niches, but still ones that replacement lenses express should target. And when we looked it up, we just looked at like the volume and how often these each of these keywords um, are looked at each month. And as you can see, replacement lens, lenses for glasses is the most looked at one. So maybe it's maybe like the, not the best uh, one for Recent Lens Express to target because um, Recent Lens Express as of now doesn't have that much money or um, uh, like 
the amount you need to put into this advertising. So um, going for the niche areas is probably a better idea for Basement Logic Express. Um, furthermore, many of the bigger companies have overpowered the bigger niches. So um, looking at smaller uh, keywords would be a good benefit. Mm -hmm. And these are some of the main competitors of Replacement Ones Express and the keywords that they target. And as you can see, all of them target like lenses and glasses. But one thing that's really um, something that stood out to us is Replace the Lens targeted like uh, satisfaction guarantee, which is like um, expressing like their customer service and how good their customer service is. And when we spoke to Replacement Lens Express, like the CEO of that company, she said that their customer source service was one thing that set them apart from other um, uh, other competition yeah, and businesses. And but our our LE, which is Replacement Lens Express, uh, does not have, does not target the keywords like uh, satisfaction guarantee in their website or anywhere, even though they said that's one of their main like selling points. So targeting those specific keywords that emphasize our customer service is something that they should look uh, look into. And we just looked at their meta and we thought it was pretty good. They have um, all the different keywords that you would think you to need and when you like looking at the meta. And so for the Google Analytics for the re replacement lens express.com page, we saw that page views saw a rise in April. So uh, Ms. Beeling, which who is the current uh, CEO, said she was working with an um, marketing team. Um, so currently we saw a brief rise and but still it has been steadily decreasing a bit. Um, there's been an increase of page views, 480, and the average time on the page is about three, min three minutes, which is pretty long. Um, there were 321 new users and only 29 returning, so we still need to work on customer retention. 76.04% uh, of customers exit from the landing page uh, without going to any other part of the um, website, which is mainly due, I think, because of the prices are mainly listed on the front page itself. 82.19% um, of customers exit the page they are on without interacting with the page itself. Um, and the most viewed page was mirror lens coding by Optica, which is unusual because um, the home page is one of the least viewed pages. And yeah, that just goes into yeah. the top one is um, mirror lens coatings by Optico, and that's the most viewed page. Okay, so the website. Um, so this is the website as of now. It's kind of cluttered and unorganized, and like the theme isn't really consistent throughout the whole thing. And it's it's pretty complicated to use, especially when trying to buy a specific product, uh, because the description of the product is hard to understand, and it's not really trendy or organized looking. And so here is some ideas for a new website. Uh, this website has like a, a consistent color scheme, and one thing that we thought was something that Replacement Ones Express definitely should target or look into is having re customer reviews on their website, because that's something that a lot of customers look at when they're thinking about buying from a specific company. And we want to make the website easily accessible and understandable, especially because understanding like the types of lenses and what like and what each lens does is really hard to understand, especially if the customer is like new to buying lenses and doesn't really know what to look for. And so making that easier will definitely increase the amount of products that, that um, customers are buying from Placement Lens Express. In addition, the product photos, if you can see here up in uh, the corner, aren't attractive and they, they're, they're just not something that uh, customers really want to look at. So making those, um, making better product photos is definitely um, a good idea. And in addition, um, Replacement Lens Express has a blog page but only has like a three or four posts and none of them are really easy to understand. They're kind of compli complicated topics that they're about and they don't really connect well to what Replacement Lens Express actually does. So updating that to have more trendy um, articles it will definitely help the page. Um, and the About Us page is on the all the way on the bottom of the website and so no one can really see it. So moving it to the top so it's easy, more accessible um, would be nice. And furthermore, um, uh, several other pages are moved at the bottom. So there's also like customer service pages, 
Um, the contact us pages are all at the bottom, um, and the pages are extremely long, so it takes forever to scroll down and find the links. So moving those links to the top of the page would be another idea. Um, and also, okay. um, so then we left into the social media of Replacement Orange Express, and so these are um, screenshots taken from different parts of Robinson Lines Express social media, which is like Instagram, Facebook, and other uh, pla social media platforms. And as you can see, it has no theme or consistency, and posts are kind of random and not really engaging. Uh, especially that one that says Mondays, it doesn't have really anything to do with what um, Replacement Lines Express actually does. And it doesn't really feature the company's values. And it's not something someone will want to subscribe to and get constant messages if the posts look like that. Uh, so, improvements to the social media can be made by first constructing a main theme, um, keeping the theme consistent throughout the social media, not alternating between different types of photos, whether it be unrelated to the company or not. So, um, example here, example one is just a theme of uh, highlighting customers' experiences and we can give rewards to customers that post about their experience on social media through a hashtag or, for example, see clearer. Um, Lensible, going back to Lensible, they have a social media that's mainly based around focusing on the items itself and customers' experiences. So we could advertise promotions more furthermore and get brand ambassadors and celebrities to talk about it and furthermore use Hootsuite to promote the social media. Yeah, and make sure that the social media is kind of the same and consistent across all different social media platforms. And um, there's also like in the corner, this has like a review of customers. So again, highlighting customer experience is um, essential. They also have a YouTube page, and this is what it looks like right now. They have one subscriber and one post. So increasing subscription is definitely something they should look into and adding more videos, especially engaging videos that people will actually want to look at. For example, like how to find the right glasses size or how to understand what different um, lenses mean and how they work for each customer because that's something what, uh, like that's something that customers want uh, to know and understand. And furthermore, keeping their uh, channel private or professional uh, because many of the playlists that they have are unrelated to the business at all. Yeah. So, so our main goal and objective is to differentiate Replacement Lens Express from its competitors because that's something that it really struggles with. It's kind of being buried by all these larger companies as of now. So one of the main ways to do this is a branding campaign. So we came up with the hashtag see clear so people can like understand the differences of Replacement Lens Express from customers by highlighting what the Replacement Lens Express does better. For example, their customer service as well as their prices. And so here are some mock-ups of uh, branding campaigns that we can do. Uh, so we created a few mock advertisements. Um, one is repla we replace your lenses, prescription lenses and frames, eyeglasses, lens replacement, lenses, frames, <coughs> and glasses. Uh, we want to include a hook that isn't prominent in other competitors' advertisements. I th we think that that could be used looking at the main page views, which include specific products, um, like our best-selling popular products are Ray-Bans and Armani frames. So um, being able to highlight these specific items in the advertisements could hook more customers. Um, we could highlight different glasses-related events, or like the changing of seasons, like National Glasses Day. Yeah, and these are just an example of some banner ads that we created. Yeah, and again, they're just highlighting um, different events that Replacement Lens Express, or like that have to do with Replacement Lens Express as a company and highlighting sales as well as, as um, Elizabeth said, like National Glasses Day, which are associated with it. And these can be posted on different websites, um, so it would, it would increase the amount of customers coming to the Replacement Lens Express website. Well, we also did a video ad, but it's not really important for us to play. But just look. Let's see. I don't know. Okay. It's not very long. Yeah. It's just, it's just a mock-up, and just to again highlighting like sales and um, 
companies and this be, can be placed on like YouTube before different videos to again have another way uh, like an, engage another social media platform and get more customers from a diverse set of platforms. Uh, and also using quizzes as content marketing to better understand our customers. So, <laughs> like BuzzFeed quizzes, but a little bit different. No, it's fine. But like, yeah, again, it's just like, um, it's kind of engaging the customer and getting them to go to your page because, again, it engages them and it just gives Collecting them... Collecting more information yeah, on exactly. our customers to better uh, target what kind of advertisement they need. <coughs> And finally, um, we are thinking of doing something called an online vision test, which is what some other um, competitors do. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, these engage customers, allowing for more site traffic, and also uh, an optician that is that if if um, Replacement Lens Express partners with different um, opticians from different um, like businesses, they can or uh, Replacement Lens Express can recommend the test taker if they if they uh, end up having. Uh, bad vision or need uh, to look for glasses. So Replacement Lens Express can uh, recommend that optician to that customer and then the optometrist in, sorry, optometrist in, um, in return can recommend Replacement Lens Express as a place to get the lenses or frames once, they get, when, uh, once the customer gets a prescription. So again, just like more business to business um, engagement. engagement, yeah. And so that's it. Thank you. Again, really, really well done. Um, I really loved the recommended social posts. You're totally right that it needs to have a more consistent theme, and I thought the photos that you suggested were great. Um, and I really liked the hashtag See Clearer. Um, I thought that um, I loved the new website, the attention grabbing first image. It really conveys a personality, so I thought that was really important for the brand. Um, and going back to your first point about email marketing, so the Velma Scooby-Doo quiz, that would be perfect for an email campaign, right? So as you think about content, certainly um, they should build out more videos on their YouTube and they should fill out their blog with more accessible, easy to digest content that people are looking for, but that's another thing to incorporate in these, whether it's six month, nine months, 12 month emails that are being sent out. Um, but I thought it was really well done. I think that you really identified that this brand has to not only get consistent, but then also really look at what their competitors are doing and think about increasing their ad budget. Now that they've moved away from their creative team that they were paying, maybe now they can really kind of delve into getting higher in Google search results and definitely a great recommendation about the most popular products in Google ads. But great job. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you.